This is Ralph Irvin in the weight room of the Acosta Athletic Performance Training Center. And this week for Football Friday, we return to the weight room to catch up with Kai Maiava and see how the UCLA center has come back from his season-ending broken ankle, which he suffered during the fall training camp. I feel good. Uh, my ankle's almost 100%. Um, feels good finally to get back in the full rotation of things. Uh, doing the injured workout wasn't fun. <laughs> just boring over there so uh, feels good to finally get to go work out with Lynn guys and all my teammates again and my ankle feels good and I'm getting better. My strength is almost all back just a uh, couple of legs a couple of leg like lifts are still a little weak but uh, my bench is getting back up there my power cleans is all right and I feel good and ready to go. I just try my best to motivate people uh, on my rack I got uh, Mike Harris and uh, Sean Scheller, and we like to just push each other with weights. Like, if I do a weight, then Mizzle will try and one-up me. Or It's just like a real motivating uh, type of environment. People go to each racks talking to each other, and I just try to be one of those guys that people can look up to and uh, help them try to get stronger and better for everybody. I think one person who really improved and got stronger out of nowhere is, well, he's been strong, but he got really strong is uh, Mike Harris. He's been throwing up a lot of weight and down there, and it's been surprising me, so I'm trying to keep up and catch up with him. From the time Kai had his injury to now, uh, there's, been a, there's been a big evolution in, in his programming. You know, when, uh, when the athlete first gets injured and, and has surgery like that, we'll bring him in and basically obviously stay off their legs and just work their upper body and, and uh, work closely with the training staff uh, when it comes to integrating his lower body work in. Um, and then we kind of get to a point we were at the beginning of this off season where we started him outside doing some basic movement patterns uh, in terms of just like an active dynamic warm up and no more and no less. Just get him moving around uh, side to side, front to back on his ankle. And then uh, as the as this quarter has progressed, our goal obviously is to have him fully functional and operating through the whole entire workout so that uh, we go into spring ball ready, ready for him to contribute again. Injured guys across the board, um, and it doesn't matter whether it's college or the NFL, it, the one, there's one commonality. If, if you've got a leader who ends up getting injured, usually you have to continue to encourage them to be a good leader because right away they kind of feel like they're alienated from the team because you know, at, the, at the beginning of their injury they're not necessarily doing the same thing that their teammates are doing, so they feel like they've kind of lost their voice on the team. So it's really important, the psychological part of uh, you know developing a guy or redeveloping a guy like Kai and get him to understand that he is still a valuable leader on this team. And though, even though he hasn't done you know, everything that his teammates have to date, that doesn't mean he hasn't worked hard. He's just worked hard doing different things. The guy's always been a very strong athlete for us, you know, uh, uh, you know great upper body strength. And uh, lower body wise, he's actually uh, about where he was, if not uh, further along uh, in, uh, right now in the off season compared to where he was last year. So obviously we're super pleased with that. Uh, the big thing with Kai, and he knows it, is you know we're, we've got to continue to try to manage his weight and make sure he's playing football at a body weight that's going to uh, allow him to move through space and and uh, uh, and stay injury free. Next week, we'll return to the weight room and check in on UCLA defensive end Dayton Jones and see how he has come back from a broken foot, which he suffered during camp last fall as well. Of course, with the best news and notes on UCLA football, you get it all right here. Bruin TV, UCLA Bruins.com.